Shalom. I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I welcome you viewers wherever you're watching from. And I say good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm here uh, today to speak or to um, say something that is very important, I'm going to be very short. I just want people to understand that uh, uh, as a prophetic intercessor who is praying for my nation Zimbabwe, I believe that we are also allowed to show uh, the nation, to show people what the Bible says if people are doing something wrong. So I believe that it will be still in the prophetic. That's why sometimes I say prophetic talk, because I believe that uh, when God impresses a scripture, when God impresses a word and reveals it even through the word of God, there's no need for me to say something to say that says the Lord uh, trying to uh, build my own message. I will simply bring the word of God, which has already told us what will happen if certain things happen. So to get into the point, I want us to understand that it is very wrong for those who beat, kill uh, people for political reasons. But uh, I'm coming here because sometimes uh, we are reminded of these things as we see certain things happening in social media. Recently, uh, I saw a video that disturbed me. I'm not saying this uh, only because he is related to to uh, to me, the person that they bent Darawaka Gocha Kwanimbuzio and Anunza Amandishi. And uh, it's very painful to see an old uh, man um, bent because of political uh, reasons or choice. Here I'm not standing uh, for uh, his position or why he he is a, a supporter of a political party. I'm speaking this that it is wrong whether either or a side, which party, whether it's a ruling party or it's an opposition party, it's wrong to kill or to beat people uh, because of political affiliations or what they believe. So I want us, the people of Zimbabwe, to understand that those who kill, the blood of those they are killing, they come upon their head. This is the, the word of God. I'm not going to say anything beyond the word of God. Uh, I'm going to use one scripture uh, which I want to convey this message. There are many scriptures, but I know that people may not have time maybe to listen to all the scriptures as we know that uh, the issue of uh, also time and data. But let me just give you a background of a story of a man called Joab. Joab was a man of David. He was a man of four. Um, one day he took, he deceived him, the man who had come to um, make an alliance with the, with the David. And he killed this man. The, the story of first, uh, Second Samuel chapter uh, 2, 3, you, you understand. There were also wars and battles that were going on there, uh, which in the Bible we can say they were also uh, their political related battles as we want maybe to uh, make it relevant to our situation. But hear what David responded when he found out that Joab had killed someone. I will read the scripture. Let me start by verse 27. And now after Abner had returned to Hebron, Joab took him aside in the gate to speak with him privately and, and there stabbed him in the stomach so that he died for the blood of Asasher, his brother. Afterward, when David heard it, he said, My kingdom and I are guiltless before the Lord forever of the blood of Abel, the son of Nehem. Let it rest on the head of Job and on all his father's house, and let there never fail to be in the house of Job one who is discharged or is, uh, who is a leper, uh, who lands on a staff or falls by the sword, and who lacks bread. So Job and Abishai, his brother, killed Abner because um, he had killed their brother Asashev at Gibeon in the battle. Let me explain something. This was a battle. These men, they lost their brother, and they saw it fit to say, let us revenge. But you see, uh, this was a deliberate uh, revenge because the Bible says they have lost their brother in a battle. A battle is a battle. When soldiers go and, 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 and fight as a war or a battle, 
uh, they cannot be held accountable in certain things that even question was addressed by Jesus but when someone now um, comes and, and try to revenge something that had happened in the, in the battle it's now a crime, it's now a sin so this is what happened and David said he did not mean his words to his men as he rebuked Job to say the, the blood of the person you killed whom you killed deliberately taking him uh, and, and killed him uh, let the blood of that man be upon your house and people should lack bread in your house that is what you are saying some shall be lepers in your house some, some shall be blind so this is a pronunciation of the things that may be found people now struggling and, uh, and, 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 and finding some difficulties in their lives they think now uh, you know own goes and so forth but before we get and saying goes people must understand that God himself can punish people God himself before we talk of any spirit or whatever God himself can punish people so people should not just be coerced or sent to do certain things here I'm not talking for anyone but it is wrong to see people fighting in our nation because God is not um, uh, pleased God will be not pleased so people of Zimbabwe, it's very important to understand being that they will uh, beat people, uh, kill people uh, because of politics, that after these things might come upon your house and those who send you will be sitting in their homes. So people of Zimbabwe, uh, it is very dangerous to do certain things and uh, when you go back to your house, to your home, you will face the consequences. So let's pray for the peace upon the nation of Zimbabwe. Let's pray uh, for all political parties and those who are going to do some campaigns and so forth so that there will be no fights, there will be no exchanging of blows or killing of each other uh, as we pray for the peaceful uh, campaign or elections. Uh, this is the mind of God to see the peace in the land. God bless you. Let's continue to pray for our nation. In Jesus' name.